Imagine, you're a space pirate in the 1990s equipped with steampunk 1950s style combat gear, driving a spaceship to go raid other 1990s steampunk pirates. Running on a personal oxygen tank, you only have enough time to get in, kill some motherfucking bitches, get some loot, and get the fuck out. That is exactly what Marauders is. How's it going, everybody? My name is Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership, your all-in-one extraction game news source. So, is Marauders truly the best casual version of Escape from Tarkov? Let's have a chat. All right, jumping right into the overview here. In case you don't already know, Marauders is a solo trios steampunk extraction shooter based in 1992 with an Escape from Tarkov exoskeleton. And by exoskeleton, I mean complete fucking carbon copy. Just kidding. With a menus only hub, just like Tarkov. What a coincidence. There's merchants, missions, and or contracts. The classic, I guess, loadout backpack menu that we all know very well. There's crafting and a little bit of appearance customization as well as a space hangar for buying and or selling spaceships which you can steal in a raid by the way very cool now also there is no tutorial just like Tarkov <laughs> interesting so jumping into gameplay here what does a match look like so a match rundown is pretty simple you equip the gear you want to bring in which if I was you I would recommend not even doing a normal standard run we'll talk about standard versus raider runs in a minute if I was you I'd run a raider run first anyways uh, so you load into a match you start off inside your own personal space junk ship there's a table behind you, you can collect some basic beginner stuff off the table to get you started unless you already have your own gear and then you go to the cockpit pilot your ship to the giant space station thing out in space i don't even really know what it's called you go inside by flying into the yellow area and then you go to your airlock open that bitch and then you go explore this space station running into raiders and fellow marauders alike the looting system is exactly like tarkov <laughs> Nice. Interesting. This game honestly plays so much like Tarkov. It's unbelievable. There's lean. There's realistic gunplay. The complexity is dumbed way down, but along with healing, healing is completely simple. But the time to kill is still very realistic, along with having very realistic gunplay, movement, and armor. Obviously, movement is mildly sci-fi steampunky because it is in outer space. But beside that, it is fairly what I would presume to be realistic. And these features are what keep the game challenging, because if the these features weren't a thing, the game would be easy, and I don't think that that's what, you know, Escape from Tarkov style players are looking for. I think that this game, based off of just what I've told you now, is a very dumbed down version, yet still quite intense, casual sort of style of Escape from Tarkov. Now, moving into the two match modes, because I don't want to drone on forever about gameplay mechanics, there is the standard and the raider, yet again, quite literally, an Escape from Tarkov knockoff. So the standard raid is going to be your solo duo trio load trios only really style go in raid face off against other players with your own gear kind of raid now if you load into a standard match solo or duo you will forever and always no matter what play against trios i think that's fucking stupid but that's just me so if you load in solo into a standard match you will still play against trios from time to time obviously it's not like guaranteed but basically you're only loading into a trios game mode then of course the raider game Game mode is just like playing as a scav in Escape from Tarkov. You load in with mostly basic gear. This is a solo only mode. Now when you load into a raider match, I'm quite certain that there is no one but other players in the match. I have not experienced anything outside of what I just stated when I load into a raider match. So all in all, this game is quite literally a carbon copy of Escape from Tarkov, in my opinion. Now this is developed by Team 17, and I will admit they have done a much better job than Hell Let Loose. That's sad to say. Hell Let Loose is a great game, but that's not here nor there. Rolling into the idea of is it really a more casual version of Escape from Tarkov? In my opinion, yes. Basically, I find this game to be infinitely more fun and entertaining. There's great gear fear factor, which is a huge thing in extraction games, especially for players that play ex Escape from Tarkov. The mechanics are very smooth. There is a lot less weapon complexity. The time specified 
side extract limit. It's the same kind of concept. So there's that intensity, but it's built into an oxygen tank, which I think is really cool and lorified. It's got realistic time to kill. Now, I'm not necessarily just listing things that make it sound like a casual escape from Tarkov game. I'm just kind of describing what it's like. I think these things all put together with the armor and the gunplay and everything. It's an excellent casual alternative to Escape from Tarkov. Now again, that is completely my opinion, so if you have a differing opinion, go ahead and drop a comment down below, and if you don't, you better fucking click that goddamn subscribe button, because we're homies. Moving on, news and updates. Now, you should know, again, Team 17 is a excellent World War game creator, developer, or whatever you want to call them. I read one of their posts on Steam about Marauders, that they literally had sent out a team to go to a historian, like, museum thing to do research on World War tanks, guns, gear, outfits, equipment, and literally implemented that knowledge from that excursion into their game. So Team 17 is probably by far the best World War game developers, in my opinion, that I know about. And I think that that's really great that they're working on this game. Now, do keep in mind that this game still is considered early access. Now, I know every fucking game is considered early access, so does that really mean anything to you? Probably. Probably not, because I know it doesn't mean anything to me, but I guess just keep that in mind when you play the game. Now, something that I found awesome is that there is an official roadmap. Now, however, if we're going based off of Team 17's history and what I know from Hell Let Loose, this roadmap is going to be completely loosey-goosey, okay? Now, anywhere from all of this to none of this could be accomplished anywhere within a five-year time period, because that is what the fuck Hell Let Loose felt like. Anyways, putting past grievances aside, Let's go over quickly what is in the roadmap. So, Team 17 is working on new boss AI, nail weapons and ammo, so weapons that shoot nails, grenade re-implementation, so apparently they took out grenades because they had it at one point and they're re-implementing it. Now there's a lot more to come, so stay prepped here. Along with what I've already mentioned so far, they're working on guild content and they listed leagues customization, tags and battles. I'm not really exactly sure what that means. Maybe someone else does if you do, comment down below. Quality of life pushes, which is awesome. We always love to hear that. Many more types of enemies, which is also good to hear because I feel like they're kind of bland. A smaller map, which would be cool. I think that would be awesome. A fleet battle map, which to me likely means spaceship battles, which sounds fucking epic. And along with a quote unquote epic map, they're claiming terraformer scale. I have no fucking clue what that means. That's cool. More items overall. So that would be awesome. There does seem to be a fairly limited amount of items. Rifle attachments. Now I'm quite certain there's already rifle attachments in the game. I could be wrong, but maybe they're looking at making more. Still cool. Awesome. Great to hear. An asteroid mine. Okay. A colony cruiser. Sure. Ship customization. That's okay. Awesome. More weapons. Great. Always love to hear that. And lastly, collectibles. Now that's a lot. Team 17 sounds very ambitious with these statements. And if I was you, I would uh, stay wise, friends, and realize that, uh, you know, a lot of this might not get done in any sort of reasonable amount of time. And if it does, I will personally apologize. No, in all seriousness, I hope that Team 17 does get all of this done because a lot of this sounds really, 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 really cool. And I'm very excited to see where all of this goes with Marauders because I do really enjoy the game. If you have something you'd like to see in Marauders, I'm going to ask you for the fucking third time now to comment down below. And if you don't, I'm going to smack your grandma. Totally kidding. Or am I? I don't know. We'll find out. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. But other than that, stay tuned for more gaming content and we'll talk again real soon. Peace. P.S. We'll talk again real soon is something my uh, principal used to say in high school whenever you would make an announcement on the P.A. So if you're listening to this right now, you've discovered my secret to my outro. Why are you still here? Okay. Click on the video or subscribe. Goodbye.